verse 20. Then Jesus entered the house, and again a crowd gathered, so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. I mean, there were so many people he was not able to eat. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him. They went to take charge of him. Don't be surprised when your family want to take charge of you when you follow Jesus with all your heart. Amen? Amen. 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 Do not be surprised. Hallelujah. For they said, he is out of his mind. For they said he's out of his mind. The moment a man or a woman is doing the will of God, his own family will say he's out of his mind. I promise you. Because a person who really followed Jesus is doing crazy funny things. That make even his own family think he's out of his mind. And they wanted to take charge of him. They took it upon them, thinking they can speak into his life. They want to take charge of him because he thought that he lost his mind. He's out of his mind. Everyone who's doing God's will, his family will think such things about him or her. Hundred percent obedient, his family will want to take charge of him or her. When you suffer, do not suffer as an evil doer, because some Christians and hypocrites they suffer for unrighteousness' sake. They bear the name of Jesus, but they suffer because they do evil and wrong things. And then they say, "Oh, they persecute me because I'm serving Jesus." You're a liar. You get persecuted because you are doing evil, man. Don't be a religious freak. Do not blaspheme his name. When you suffer as an evildoer, keep very quiet. Do not even tell the people that you serve Jesus, man. Because you blaspheme his name. Keep quiet. When they arrest you for faith and they put you in jail, don't say I'm a Christian. Keep your mouth, man. And repent. Do not say they put you in jail because you're a Christian. Many Christians do such things. Oh, they persecute me because I'm a Christian. And then they get put in jail because of fraud or something like that. When you put being put in jail for fraud, repent and keep very quiet. Be slow to speak. Repent and ask for grace for God. But do not even mention that you're a disciple of Jesus. Because a thief cannot be a disciple of Jesus. If you suffer as an evildoer, keep your mouth quiet. Don't tell anyone you're a Christian. You blaspheme his name, please. Many Christians do these things. Please do not blaspheme his name. Therefore the world got reason to speak against Christians. When the world is speaking against you, and they persecute you because of the name of Jesus, then you should rejoice. You should be glad because great is your reward in heaven. But if you suffer as an evil, keep quiet. There was times in my life when I missed the mark and of my own mistake. Quiet. Just keep quiet and ask for grace. Jesus, let this thing just pass by. Have mercy on me. Listen, my friend. Do not blame any, anyone for your wrongdoing. We're quick to blame our fathers. Oh, I've done wrong because my father has done wrong. You're a liar, man. It's God came to Adam and said, Adam, what have you done? No, God, it's not me. It's the wife that you gave me. Say, blame shift. That means you could not take responsibility. He said, we was a weakling at that point of time. Sorry. Victory starts with honesty. You should be very honest with yourself and take responsibility for your own action. Do not blame your wife. When God came to Adam, Adam, what have you done? Oh God, it's actually your fault. It's the wife that you gave me. You remember, you gave me this wife. Now, 
And Eve said, oh, it's the snake. It's not me, it's the snake. And the snake still had his leg to stand on, not for long. Amen. The snake had no one to blame because he was inspired by Satan. Satan going next to all victory starts with honesty. The honest person who takes responsibility for his own life and come before God and go to the cross of Jesus and lay down his own sin there and do not blame anyone for his sin, but take responsibility is the one who will receive forgiveness and freedom and liberty and he will be the one that can later help others. Because all victory starts with honesty and responsibility, taking responsibility for your life.